The hair's ear nymph is an old and very effective pattern. It is simple to tie and a staple in many fly boxes. I like to add a little weight to this fly by adding some lead wire. If you decide to use lead as well, place it behind the hook and hold it in place with your finger. Then make several wraps forward. Once you have enough wire, you can cut or break it off. You can add as much or as little as you like though I try to keep it less than half the shank so that the proportions of the fly look natural. Use both hands to bend the tips down and to eliminate any gaps in the wire. Start your thread behind the wire and work through it. Once in front of the lead, build up a small thread dam to hold it in place. Then move the thread back and repeat this behind the lead. If you feel it necessary, you can take a few more wraps to really secure the wire. Once you are satisfied that the lead is secure, move your thread back, ending between the hook point and the barb. The traditional hare's ear uses rabbit fur to create the tail, but replacing this with pheasant gives a more insect-like profile to the fly. Remove six to eight pheasant tail fibers and measure them about one half the shank. Then transfer them to your other hand and place a few wraps to secure them. Cut the fibers so they butt up against the lead wire and cover the ends with thread. Place a piece of gold wire along the hook, butt it up against the lead wire and secure it with your thread. The entire body is made from rabbit dubbing. We are going to create a dubbing noodle by grabbing small tufts of dubbing and twisting it onto the thread. It is important to always twist the same direction, never twist back and forth. This will help you to get a nice tight dubbing noodle, making the body much easier to form. Once your dubbing noodle is an inch or so long, you can begin wrapping it to form the body. Leave a small piece of thread closest to your fly, free from any dubbing. Wrap the thread back at the tail until the dubbing starts to catch. Then begin creating the body by wrapping the dubbing forward until about the two-thirds point. Tying in the gold wire and the pheasant tail the way that we did helps to create a smooth, gradually tapered underbody, making it very easy to taper the rabbit dubbing. Rabbit is a very forgiving dubbing. If you put on too much, just pull off the excess and give a small twist to the dubbing, then wrap until you have bare thread. The gold wire is going to be used to rib the body and to reinforce the dubbing. Wrap the wire in the opposite direction, creating even segments. Tie off the wire by placing wraps of thread on either side, then cut or helicopter it off. You can take a couple more wraps to secure the wire if you feel the need. Then you can move your thread a little forward to tie in the wing case. Place a piece of black scud back on the side of the hook facing you. As you tie it in, the thread torque will carry it to the top of the hook. Once it is positioned correctly, secure it by taking several wraps of thread back to where you ended the dubbing earlier. Using the same technique as earlier, create another dubbing noodle. Use the rabbit dubbing to build up a thorax. Make it larger than the abdomen, but make sure you leave plenty of space bare just behind the eye of the hook. End with your thread in front of the thorax. Pull the scud back forward, keeping it under tension, but not stretched. Then place a couple of wraps to hold it in place. Then cut the scud back, leaving a small bit remaining. Take a few more wraps to secure it. Using scud back for the wing case is another variation from the original, but it is extremely durable and much simpler to tie with. Use the turns of your whip finish to cover any black remaining.
The fly can certainly be fished as is, but for added realism, you can use a brush or a piece of Velcro to pull out some fibers in the thorax. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks again, and tight lines.